Yeah, what is going on ladies and gents of the realm? Welcome back to a brand new video. Last week, I showed you guys how to make an incredible deck for Jagaroth to make them super, super tanky. Uh, but a lot of you guys have actually been struggling playing against Jagaroth. So I thought I'd make a video today showcasing all the characters that I think are the strongest against Jagaroth. Now, most of these are in no particular order and they're obviously using circumstances that are pretty much ideal in that they don't always have a healer there, or they Yagarath is pretty much being stationary. Obviously, this isn't going to be the circumstance for every game, but I just want to showcase the character's abilities in each circumstance to show off how fast they can actually burst down Yagarath and which characters seem to be the strongest in doing that. Now, I have tested a lot of the characters that most of you are going to think that was strong, and if some of them are left off on here, it probably means I tested them and didn't think it was actually that good and worth being put into the video. However, if you think I've missed something, please put it down below. And I will try and do my best to go through the comments and respond to let you guys know whether I tested them or whether I thought it was just not really as good as it, as it could be. Because um, these are just kind of the, the best tier counters that I could find in the game. Anyway, ladies and gents, if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good things. This one took a long time. So those little extra likes will be very much appreciated. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, I'll see you again tomorrow. Mwah. Peace, nerds. First up, we're going to be looking at Fury Art. This is going to be with the Exterminate talent, and this was surprisingly good. I really didn't think this was going to be as good as it was, and I actually nearly left it off the list. So we're going for a double Exterminate here, where obviously we're using the first beam, using a reset to get another beam, and then going straight back on it again. Um, with the double beam, it means that you can, after the initial hunker down, you can throw down another beam on top. Obviously, in this circumstance, it is shown when... Yagarath is just staying stationary. A lot of these examples are going to be situations in the most ideal opportune situation. Just to show how fast a particular character can burn them down and how good they are. This is now with the ultimate as well. And this is going to be with the hunker down into the ultimate. Uh, again, perfect case scenario, you know. But just showing how fast you could actually potentially burn them down. Which is quite... I was quite impressed with Fury's ability to do it, to be honest. So Bomb King is actually going to be one of the strongest ones on this list. This is going to be with Chain Reaction. Obviously, the more stickies you can put on it, the more damage it's going to do. Uh, we've tested it here using all of his abilities and just using the stickies. It's the exact same amount of stickies. So it's going to be eight in total that are required to kill Yagarath. And this is one of the ones that's actually the strongest whilst in Yagarath's Hunker mode. Uh, it still does roughly about half of uh, Yagarath's HP here, which is really strong considering the amount of increased DR. The only thing you have to be wary of is the fact that Yagarath can actually early cancel her hunker down ability and destroy Bomb King's bombs, which significantly reduces the amount of damage you're going to be able to do. Next up here is going to be Big Game Cassie. This is another really strong one here. Given the fact that Yagarath is obviously stationary, hitting that right click is very easy. And if you actually get the second right click on it as well, it's quite speedy to end up killing Yagarath in this one. And again, here an example of using it with the Hunker down. Uh, it's not as strong. And the Hunker really does detract from this one quite a lot because you only get so many shots with Big Game before its effectiveness obviously stops being used within the ability. Now, Dredge is one we've done quite a lot of testing on. I've tested on both the normal left-click shots, um, which is not in any way the strongest variation to use it. And then we've tried it with the broadside right-clicks. And this is if it, the Yagarath is stationary. This is going to be the best. You're going to want to use three rotations of your broadsides and then into just normal shots. It's the most effective way to do it. That was with three rotations into a broadside. This is with the ultimate to show how fast you can burn Yagarath with the ultimate. So the best way you can do this is three sets of your broadsides into a reload into normal shots is the fastest, most optimal way to kill it with dredge, like in that example just there. And again, we're going to show this off now in the hunker state. The good thing about the hunker state with dredge is eventually she's going to have to take some of this damage unless they are absolutely godlike uh, transforming and rolling out as soon as they finish their hunker down ability they're still going to end up taking quite a significant amount of damage as you can see here with the ultimate you're going to do about half hp as well whilst they're actually in the hunker as well with the full amount of dr this is now with the actual just reloads um, and this is just purely to show you guys an example of what's stronger and what's not stronger because this one's still better than the first initial shot one that we showed off but probably still not as good as the uh 
the broadside. And this is just a fun little thing that we found out you can do. You can actually TP away in the ultimate, but it will still kill you, unfortunately. If someone figures out how to fix that and make it not kill you, you have to let me know. Now, onto Drogos. We're going to be looking at the Fuselar talent here. And this is going to be just hitting your consistent shots, which isn't too bad. But we've also done a lot of testing with Drogos here. And the best thing that you can actually do with Drogos is use your spit, hit the Yagarath, and then use the shots on top. Just the same as where you would with a big game Cassie. And we've tested every variant of this. I've tested doing it where you blow up the spit. Um, to see how much damage that does, and it's nowhere near as good. I've tested it to see if you use your spit and then use your Q, and still not as good as the other variation. And also, we've obviously tested one in the hunker down state as well. That's just the normal damage in hunker down. And um, as you see, the extra spit damage is just far, yeah, far superior to anything else. Uh, this is why I would recommend, though, if you're playing, when you shoot your spit, don't waste any time. Shoot another target and then flick back to Yagaroth. So don't just sit looking at the spit. Actually shoot at Yagaroth when she's on point or something. Change targets and then swap back to Yagaroth afterwards. So Koga is going to be another really surprising one on how effective he actually is for Yagaroth. Not because of his ultimate, which is what I was initially using him for, but actually because of his damage just in general. And more importantly, because of his headshot potential on Yagaroth, it is actually very easy to track headshot with Koga on Yagarath, which is the very tip of the chin, not the actual mouth, which we originally thought it was. The tip of the chin, the headshot damage is absolutely insane. When using Koga's ulti against Yagarath, it will not totally kill them. For some reason, the damage reduction inherently on Yagarath is stopping the ult from fully proccing against him. Uh, and then with the hunker down, we're only doing about 50% HP versus Yagarath in total. So if you are to one clip with a nice, decent amount of headshots, and then into the ultimate, you are going to get the kill onto Yagarath. And then if we look here as well, even if you do one decent clip, into a hunker down Yagrath, you do pretty much kill her as well. Um, even though you are taking most of the damage away from the hunker down, you still can manage to kill her quite effectively with Koga. Next up is Lex, who could potentially be the best on this list, which I'm quite surprised about. If you're using Yagrath as a target um, and you're hitting consistent headshots, which again is not that difficult. I've only put headshot characters in if I think that it's actually feasible for you to be able to get those headshots in an in-game situation. And obviously, Yagrath being stationary, it's not that difficult. If you see in the example here, going into an ultimate here. And um, just giving you a perfect prime example, you can actually one-clip Yagrath with Lex if you were to. Obviously, that's not realistically going to happen. But, you know, just to show you guys that it is possible how much damage he does with those headshots against Yagrath. Uh, Precision Lian is another one that we have actually tested here. I don't think it's realistically that great. Uh, the amount of time it takes for it to start proccing takes a little while. But overall, it's still quite a nice bit of damage once it is up and going on Yagarath, which isn't too bad. Um, the only thing I would say as well is the headshots are disgustingly strong, but I don't think they are anywhere near as feasible to get in a real game as, say, the Lex headshots are or the Koga headshots are. And we see with the Hunker here now as well, it really does take quite a significant time compared to some of the others to, kill the, to get the kill. Maeve here is one I tested. I did test with... Um, Cat Burger uh, with the consistent procs from Predation, which was far slower than I thought it was going to be. So I ended up not including it. And I'm not including Maeve on this for her damage on Yagarath. I'm only including purely the Execute, which would be used in a manner like this, where you might be fighting other characters. And then you would eventually turn back to Yagarath when she was low from the other characters on your team. And then going for the Execute kill. Uh, actually, Maeve into Yagarath herself, not fantastic. But the Execute is great. And the Execute, as we've shown in the others, does work on the Hunker Down target as well. Now, next up is Ceres, and this is one that I'm kind of conflicted on, but I wanted to include anyway because I think it's quite a fun little idea. Uh, if you kite Yagrath cons like, consistently, with the stun time that you get from Ceres Q, you can always proc another four ta tags onto Yagrath and consistently keep stunning her out over and over and over and over again. I don't think it's necessarily like a hyper counter because the character herself, Ceres, isn't going to be that great for the remainder of the game. But Yagarath cannot actually hunt Ceres down. Even with the right click, by the time you get a stun onto her, you can just kite away again and just completely, like, you can just chain lock her consistently, which I think is quite fun. A uh, little counter that you can kind of call a counter almost. Next up here is going to be Sky. This is going to be a debilitate Sky, which is obviously a percentage based um, talent. Again, if you can hit the headshots, which I think are actually, again, quite feasible, realistically, to hit in most kind of game situations, it's not that difficult. Um, she does insane amounts of burst damage against Yagarath. Uh, here we're showing off just the right click damage, and it's only a few little peaks with right click that's actually going to take Yagarath down to practically no HP. And so that's very easy. You can just kind of turn tag Yagarath, get some prime damage on her there, and then turn back for another target in the match. 
Uh, Burn Monster Tyra here going to be another fan favorite, of course, of an ideal as how to counter Yagrath. The only thing I would say against Burn Monster is, although it does have the initial cripple, Yagrath's moving speed alone is quite fast when she transforms. So not having that dash out isn't that detrimental. And without having this stun, like an exterminate does on Furia, keeping the, the, the Yagarath in place for the damage is actually quite difficult. Here we're just showing off the different examples uh, of using like Hunker Down with Firebomb, Hunker Down with Firebomb and damage, and then Hunker Down, uh, sorry, with Firebomb and Mark and damage on top of it. All the different examples of different ways that you can augment Tyra's kit to just show off how fast she can kill in each different circumstance. The fire is amazing when she leaves the hunger down, but as says, a good Yagrath might be able to just escape straight away anyway. Next up is going to be Vora, and here we're simply demonstrating how fast you can get Yago within threshold whilst using the 10% increased damage on, th on Scythe talent, and then actually using the Execute, because it's quite fast to kill this way, but a little bit lengthy if you are not then going to use the Execute. If you have to keep rotating abilities to try and get the kill, it does take quite a bit longer. Here we're going to show off that you can also, of course, Execute whilst Yago is in her hunker down state. Now moving on to Willow, whose main counter is not actually going to come through the damage that you can do on Yago. Although it is quite decent with the two talents being Blast Flower and Scorn. Scorn actually quite impressive in damage. The main counter, of course, is going to be your ability to stop healing on Yago, especially when she's stationary. Very easy to keep her in a dead zone when she isn't moving. And obviously the beam doesn't move either. So these uh, duos between Furio and Yago, quite well countered by Willow. As you've seen there, the Scorn damage is quite bursty as well into these uh, characters. Next up, we're going to look at the Yago versus Yago. Um, and this is just going to come from the deck that I showed off in the last round that consistently allows you to hunker down constantly. And uh, we have someone who's not using that hunker down deck and someone who is using that hunker down deck. And we're both hunkering down at the exact same time and spraying and fighting in the exact same amount. And you can see just how much of an extra damage output and damage save that it is when you are using the deck from last video. Lastly, we're going to look at Zin, and it's just going to be looking at his ultimate here. And basically, the, the most interesting things about Zin is it has the same effect as Koga in that it will not allow you to execute. Um, for some reason, the DR is working against it. However, the very, very, very good thing about Zin is it is actually dragging Yagrath out of Hunker. So when, 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 when Yagrath goes into Hunker mode to gain that increased DR, you can actually pull them out with Zin and always guarantee that increased damage from the ultimate prop, which is very, very, very useful in a lot of circumstances. Also here, I did show the Zinno on the movement form of Yagrath, whereas I didn't show that with Koga. Both still will kill while she is in movement form because she doesn't have the inherent DR when she's in movement form. However, the Zin one is very confirmable. Whereas the Koga one is obviously not because you can just roll out of it. Which is why I opted to leave the Koga one out in case anyone was wondering. But it will still kill her if she isn't moving whilst in movement form. But as I said, that's just counterproductive. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope some of you guys find it helpful. If you do, please don't forget to drop that like on it. This one took significantly longer to make than most of my other videos. So a little bit of extra support would be very much appreciated. Love you guys to absolute pieces. Have a fantastic day. And as always, I'll see you next time. Peace, everyone.